Nice to see you guys. Hello. Nice you. All right, I, like, neither of you are rookies, but at the same time, because this is a Roland Emmerich epic movie, you know that a lot of it's going to be added in post. So yes. how satisfying is it to see the finished product go, oh, so that's why we did that. Oh, that's that. Absolutely. I, I Make no mistake, I 100% am a rookie. I've never been a part of any uh, project of this size. I think Kian has been in some kind of bigger, flashier things. Uh, I've never experienced this level of... Um, not a lot of explosions or crashes. On yeah, three. yeah, exactly. Different kind of explosions, uh, <laughs> right. you know, musical explosions, etc. Exactly, but certainly not at the level of Roland Emmerich branded spectacle. Um, and so that has been very much uh, one of one of, the, one of the most exciting things about being part of this project. Other than you know the story and everything, it's it was just cool to show up on set and see the production value of a huge to scale or roughly to scale. Right aircraft carrier and going, oh, okay, that's right, that Roland Emmerich is making this. That, that makes <laughs> not, sense. Not to name names, but there are behind-the-scenes references to directors who make epic movies, and when you see the behind-the-scenes, they kind of look frantic, like, no, I want it bigger, I want this, and they seem out of control, <laughs> but people say Roland is like the opposite, that it's a super chill set. Well, I think a big-budget movie to him is just a Roland film, you know what I mean? I think yeah. that his, his yeah. scale, his, he, 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 he's been working on that scale for so long yeah. before they had visual effects at the level that they are at right. today. So I, I almost feel like the job has become, I mean, I, don't, I can't speak for Roland, but almost easier because of all the all of the, the work that can be done after it's shot. Yeah. And Roland just still, with knowing that you know you can create any sort of universe with this blue screen, he still did a lot of things practically on set to make it look like we were on a boat. So it's in terms of like wind machines and these big effects of like exploding water, all these things that they wanted to have. And to scale planes. I mean, they rebuilt yeah. two torpedo bombers right. to scale that were practical and in the yeah. real world of what we were shooting. It was. It, very impressive. Yeah. I was not surprised, but nonetheless, uh, totally like uh, just impressed by by the level of uh, craftsmanship of the people that he can kind of wield. You're right. I think most people's tens is his like zero. Yeah, it just kind of right. starts from there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Roland told us this was his low budget movie, so <laughs> yeah. we can put that into perspective. This is his indie movie. <laughs> yeah. This is his Throw little indie movie. Film. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's impossible to extract yourself as the actor in the movie, but like, what is the one just joyful moment where you saw this movie as an audience member and you disappear and you go, oh, that's awesome. I have my moment uh, because, it, because it's a war film and there are so many pieces. It's an ensemble piece. I mean, you know, there are so many pieces to the Battle of Midway itself and as such there are many different actors. We were just speaking about this before, you know, before we started this. We were in such separate areas. Right now we're in Honolulu. We shot in Montreal. Uh, you heard there were other actors in other scenes that were going to be part of this film. Uh, so getting to see them yeah. right. being cut right after or before your scene yeah. is like, whoa, I'm in a movie with Woody Harrelson. <laughs> yeah. No way. Right. Yeah. Uh, so stuff like that to me was really exciting where suddenly the screenplay becomes a cohesive reality and that, that was exciting for me. I yeah. love you. Yeah, I mean, I, when you watch a... When you watch a movie that you're in, you you can you feel like you can strip away all the movie magic. But I feel like watching this, especially all the visual effects, getting up from my seat after the movie, like I I was I realized how tense my body was the entire time, and how Roland does such a good job of making these dogfights look so real, and also you feel the claustrophobic nature of being in this, a plane that small. Amen. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I I think yeah, watching it was was a was as we wrap exciting. it up, you guys, the men and women of the Armed Forces Network are watching this right now, so they thank you for showing their service. Yeah, yeah. Well, we thank them. Thanks for, for, for their actual service. A great yeah. story to tell, and a lot of uh, great people to honor in this film for sure. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Thank yeah. you. Good to Thanks, see you, Mark. Appreciate you, man. Good to thank see you. Thank you. Thank you. When did you? See